welcome to the post hoot. Welcome to the post hoot. Um, we have guests, y'all. We have guests. Um, we have the inimitable Avi Roque, aka the voice of Rain Whispers. And we have the amazing Rebecca Rose, who you know and love from YouTube and Twitter, and also now a production assistant on The All House. <laughs> 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 We had to set the phone back a little bit to like get us all in so we can't actually see your comments. But we love you. Thank you. Hello from the Philippines. Yes, and you're early. All right, we're doing good. All right, nothing urgent. So, Follies at the Coven Day Parade. Here we are. The first F in the fear, the fear of the lock, right? Right? Yeah. Seek the key, fear the lock. Yeah. Um, so Luz starts off with kind of a video intro, right? Trying to reconcile uh, her two worlds for her mom. And we know what Hootie looks like underneath all that. <laughs> <laughs> no one's okay. Don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> mm. Let's see. We learned some dark things about Rain. <laughs> yeah. A bit. What they, <laughs> what they were experiencing. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not, you know, it's not their fault. We learn some even more dark things about Kiki. But that's not a surprise. But um, so the last time we saw Rain before this episode, yes. they had a battle with what were their names? Darius yes. and Eber. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, after that was Eda's re requiem, right? Yes. yes. And they that sacrificed was... themselves. Yes. yes. In the most romantic way possible. <laughs> so sweet. But then they got taken prisoner. Yes. And now they are brainwashed, sipping sip mm. the evil tea, held, right. held captive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Poisoned. Poisoned. But you were fighting it. Not poison, you but. Uh, Drugged. What would you say? I mean, it's or Kano Los Dos. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Something's happening. Yes, yeah, for sure. Um, and so then we learn about Kiki. Like, we learn why Kiki is Kiki. I mean, you know, the mom pressure is, is real. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind a family in Pond Stings. That doesn't sound so rough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just saying, Kiki. A princess problem. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, what else? We uh, we meet Tara yes. Snapdragon. Yes, who is maybe formidable foe. the baddest baddie yet, oh, like yes. of, of the Coven house heads. Yes. Kind of scary, like mm -hmm. kind of very scary. Voiced by Deborah Wilson, who is equally kind of scary. <laughs> <Super> <laughs> bad, totally scary. <laughs> she uh, she rolls up on her her badass motorcycle and like just is that true? Yes, That's she awesome. owns every room she walks into. She's amazing. Also terrifying. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> um, so we wanted to, um, in addition to kind of recapping the episode, we just wanted to talk a little bit. And uh, Rebecca, I think I am curious, and I think inquired minds want to know. How did you end up working for the actual Owl House? Oh, the how did this happen? Uh, so I have a channel. <laughs> if you haven't <laughs> heard. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where I just kind of started posting like when the pandemic started and I was like I'm gonna make a video a week for as long as the pandemic goes <laughs> and it ended up being a little bit longer than anticipated Thanks, uh, last words. yeah <laughs> but uh from doing that I kind of just got more involved with the fandom I was able to reach out and get in contact with like Matt Brawley from Amphibia and then Dana Terrace who obviously created this show uh and then was able to kind of keep in contact with them and then a position for production associate popped up uh and i was able to interview for that and get the job so yeah. now were you living in la when that happened nope uh, i moved out to la i didn't have this job lined up uh to uh find a job in animation because that's what i wanted to do um and i somehow was lucky enough to get this one i'm lucky <laughs> um, what is it um uh, what is so it cool. success Fate. or fest is when like <laughs> luck meets preparation yes uh, luck is preparation and timing. Mm, yes. I, like, I like that a lot so more. You deserve it. Stumbled it. into nah, it. Nah, 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 um, nah, nah. You earned this. Yes. So yeah, so I was lucky enough to get a job uh, on this show, uh, and so it's been great. I've been on since the end of December, so a couple months now. But nice. it's been really great being able to work on a show that. So what do you do as production assistant? Yeah, like, give what us that the background, entail? the behind the scenes. Everything. Uh, <laughs> production's involved in everything. Uh, so pre-production and post-production. So pre-productions when. You don't have the animation from the overseas studios yet and then post productions when you do have that so the second half of season two we're actually not done with some of the episodes for that we're still like recording adr and we're still like mixing music and doing like audio and stuff like that uh i do not so. have a session tomorrow 
for this. <laughs> no, nope, sure don't. Uh, so, you know, so we work on that in post-production, and then in pre-production we're doing stuff like the writing, the storyboards, the design, and then we send all that stuff over to overseas to animate. Uh, so we're, we're working on kind of, you know, a little bit of season two, a little bit of season three right now. The mo like, most of my work is in season three, so I'm, like, managing all, like, the design reviews, so, all, like, the character designs, the backgrounds, the color designs, all that. So you really see stuff. how the sausage is made. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, if you're someone who's interested in getting involved in animation, production's a great place to start because you really get to see, like, the whole pipeline. Even if you're not 100% sure, like, what you want to get into, like, being in production, like, lets you get to see, like, each, you know, part of the process of the pipeline, so a good way to figure out like what you want to do. I agree. What, what's like the most surprising thing you've learned since like getting into this role like behind the scenes? Oh man. I well, think best. just like how much work goes in. Like I think everyone knows like a bunch of work goes into animation but I think when you're actually like working with the artists I think you're seeing like just how much goes into like every single little detail that you see on the screen and just like how hard everybody works. Yeah. Um, I think just seeing it like for myself in person has been like the biggest thing for me. I agree. That's the way I felt like with just learning. I mean, even from my end, like learning how long the animation takes and like seeing it come back and forth and, and back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh, my, yeah. for a cartoon, yeah. like yeah. you know, like it, it's just we take it for granted because you know we're lucky enough to like see all this content mm -hmm. all the time. But yep. So, who's your favorite character and why is it? <laughs> ah, okay, sorry, we lost they can, connection. They can okay, us too, right? can you guys yeah. hear us? Okay. Yeah. I didn't see any comments on it. Kind of... Now that I'm yelling like right in the <laughs> camera. Can you hear can us? You hear us okay? Can you hear us? Okay. Are you enjoying the show? Oh okay. Gosh. Comments are a little bit behind. Oh, okay, um, give us a second. Give us I'm just gonna I'm just gonna squat here for a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna listen. I'm right, right here. Bum, just bum, right here. Um, uh, if you can hear us uh, and you hear any crackling, my dogs okay. are eating some sticks. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back. You can hear us. Okay, you can all hear us. Okay, great. Oh awesome. God. Them almost I'm gonna up some of the sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby choked on a little bit of stick. She's not eating them. She just We have a couple of them. dogs roaming around yeah. and they're choking on sticks and like. They endeavor things. to make more mulch, so. It's oh, fine. It's fine. Um, so, uh, I don't know at what point we. We blacked out here, but um, Rebecca just finished telling <laughs> us why she hates everything. I hate every character. Except for Luz, yeah. and if she had to name uh, oh, her oh, favorite okay. character. <laughs> oh, man. I do, I, I do love Luz. I think Luz is I probably like, like really no, I know, I do oh. actually legitimately love Luz. Because mm, like, I awesome. think Luz is like one of the characters yeah. that like I would have identified with most mm. like when I was that age. Just because mm. like, I don't know, I wasn't like the girly girl. I like doing a bit more like Definitely. tomboyish mm. stuff. Um, I really like Lilith and Amity because I like that they're kind of characters who start off as like jerks, but then get better over time. Um, <laughs> so I, I like those two a lot. And I, I love Rain. Rain's just such a sweetheart. <laughs> There's like nothing not to like about you, Avi. Just like the real Avi. I know. <laughs> like, uh, it's uh, been a journey though to get to this. <laughs> nice. So, so tell us then. Tell us about your your journey into voiceover. Ooh, How did you get started in voiceover? Ooh, 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 we're getting we're getting the right here. What a great get the question. Tea. Get the tea. I bet you've um, never asked that question, aren't you? Never. <laughs> time you've no one's that. ever asked me, so I'm really excited to answer it now. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I tried to do voiceover in Chicago when I lived in Chicago. Pre, you were in Chicago. Yeah, Frankie came out here. Amazing! Yeah, I thought we should have made that. No, my bad, Sorry. my bad. You yes. wanted it to happen live on camera. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I lived in Chicago for like eight years. Um, did the theater scene out there. And I feel like I had the comment that was like, oh, you have a good voice. Maybe think about like voiceovers too. Because I was also in the track of like being an actor, right? Like mm -hmm. I have a theater background. Off. Not in the track you were working, tell the truth. What? What you do you mean? Theater. You did so I was stuff. doing theater. Wait, like, yeah, I was. I was yeah. yeah, I was working. Work. I was working. Yeah. It's easier said than done. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's, that's, that's not easy. easy. I think because I did get rejection, like in college, like I went to a program that had a BFA for acting, but I got cut. So I basically was like, well, I'm not going to give up. I'll keep figuring out a way to keep doing what I want to do. Yes. If that means 
was going outside of school or whatever so I did and then Chicago was really my like moment of being like I'm going to immerse myself into the theater scene here and I will be like a professional you know actor like this is where I'm gonna grow as an artist mm -hmm. and so the city did really give me that and then I also was like let me explore other avenues of performance mm -hmm. so I took a voiceover class paid a lot of money um, <laughs> it's you know it's an, it, an investment and so it is hard because you don't always know if you're gonna get the um, what is it the what like the ROI what, yes the, what, whatever like you you're putting it in you're investing but you don't know if you're gonna get anything back oh, I was yeah. just talking about this earlier today yeah you know yeah. so I did I, I took a voiceover class very basic very general I spent well, my mother's help like also thank you for parents who were like very supportive <laughs> of my endeavors yes thank you um, not a make... of life <laughs> no not a <laughs> Dahlia um, but they like you know I paid for a voiceover demo reel oh which was like just like general copy mm -hmm. but again this is all pre-transition so this is a voice oh. that I did not fully feel connected to okay, okay. So I hadn't transitioned. I didn't even know I was trans, <laughs> honestly. I mean, I was queer and like masculine presenting in some ways, but it was still me with a, as we, you know, classify voices, a, a softer feminine voice trying to do voiceover. <laughs> well, I think I got like maybe one or two like non-union things. Mm -hmm. And then I think it just kind of died. It just felt like it wasn't going anywhere. So I literally remember, I was like, I'm giving up. This is not for me. Obviously, I don't have anything to offer in the voiceover world. It's just not happening for me. So I'm going to just keep focusing on these other things. TV, film, keep doing theater. And then I transitioned. And then I was like, wait a second, I know who I am. I'm figuring this out. I'm stepping into myself. I'm making choices for myself. I like transitioning medically beginning hormone replacement therapy with taking testosterone my voice starts changing and literally like in that moment where like there is a visible change in my voice i got an email for an audiobook and i think that was like the moment of like the most affirming thing too because the book is cemetery boys if you haven't read Thomas. cemetery boys it's excellent and obvious just chef's kiss and i was just like this is me like what like how affirming of myself and my identity and my journey mm -hmm. and then being like my voice matters it's important and i'm gonna tell this story. and it's a latina character and which it's is a like latina character it's magic it's queer it's amazing yes and that kind of just opened the door i think where i was like wait a second what is this okay then i think my agents because i again fortunate enough to have like representation because talent agents help you get those jobs, mm -hmm. help you get your foot in the door. They help you get the opportunity. They, they help, help you get the opportunities. Legal jobs. I get yeah. the job. Yes, they right. help align you. They're, they're the right. bridge. That's right. We get the jobs, but they help uh, provide those opportunities yeah. to have a chance at some of these, like yeah. you know, things. Yeah. So, I think my agents were like, "Huh, all right, let's try submitting you for voiceover stuff." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but like all of a sudden I was getting voiceover. Maybe for everyone, yeah. Yeah, I think I started getting voiceover auditions to eventually getting an audition for Rain. I, I think there's something to be said too about knowing who you are. Yes. And not trying to please someone else. Yes. Right? I, I think, you know, my journey is obviously very different, mm -hmm. but I spent the first year of my career mm -hmm. trying to please them, mm -hmm. whoever they are, mm -hmm. right? And when I finally figured out, like, no, if I'm having fun, mm -hmm. if I if I am happy recording the character that I'm recording, that's the win. It shows, yeah. right? And yeah. if, if I'm having fun doing the audition, those you're having fun listening. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, yeah. It's like if people are like, we all like to think like, I can do any role, but mm -hmm. like, doesn't mean you're the best for every role. Yeah. Like the ones, like you said, the ones you connect to, yeah, are the ones where it's everyone. It's special for everyone because they're like, oh. Ooh, that's really yeah. them. Like that, really, they hit something mm -hmm. deeper. I would also like to just point out. Oh, uh, I'm I'm recently. Recently. <laughs> on the market. Look at my Don't ring. 
waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do you, you later. You. I just uh, I'll close oh up my God, the stop it. I don't have a rock like you. But. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Or I'm like, oh, like, what is I'm she? not wearing my You're not wearing <laughs> No. She's like, well, I've been married for a while. It's I've fine. Been, I've been I got married. my other rocks on. It's fine. Yeah. You too. You <laughs> Technically. I know. I got my moonstone and my but yeah. I'm good. But that was a journey too. Talk about like quickly just about marriage. And like I had a hard time feeling like I felt in that construct. Mm. And I wrestled a lot with like what am I going to wear? Like what am I going to be called? I had a journey. Um, but I think I arrived to like making decisions that do feel comfortable for me and like feeling like wow like I can get married I can have a, a wife I can still be non-binary I can be this is the thing I think like words like you make it words you can make however you want honestly words are just words at this point but I've gone through a journey on like not feeling like certain words wound me or hurt me or like c constrict me but I'm like, you know what? I can be non-binary and I can be a husband. Like, yes. I can be, you know, like there's all these things Whatever that, for you. you know, granted, we, I am using hubby or hubs. <laughs> <laughs> Team hubs. Team hubs. <laughs> but for like us, um, but I think we're still using partner as yeah. like um, the general thing not? too. Just And you happen company. to be an openly transgender character on yeah. the most popular cartoon right. that's available right now, yeah. which is pretty rad. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't believe it still sometimes. I think it doesn't register the I, impact. I uh, should clarify, I don't know that Rain is transgender, but oh, Rain right. is non-binary. Non -binary. My bad, sorry. My no bad. worries, no worries. But yes, right. At least we know Rain uses they, them pronouns. Mm -hmm. Fact. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's so, cool. so amazing, y'all, in this last episode <laughs> where you're just hearing they, them, left and right. Mm -hmm. Like, that was such a it surreal moment. It was so easy, moment. too. Like, didn't, yeah. it, I don't know. It yeah. doesn't, um, I, I think the first time you see stuff like yeah. that, your ear catches, you're like, what? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I remember, remember watching Dina's yeah. Requiem when she mm -hmm. turned around and she was like, why don't you just tell them? And I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> like it was, it's that moment of like, oh my God, okay, this here it is. Right. That's right. You deserve I see hearts. Let's oh, just... hearts. They're just... Non-binary icon. They're just vibing. They're, they're just loving. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of my journey, I guess. Non-binary so. rep. Okay. Non-binary so rep. There's a lot of love. And that's, I love that non-binary can look any way, yes. Yes. shape, or form. So it's just exciting. It's an exciting time to be alive because when I first started trying to be like they them non-binary gender non-conforming like learning all those things i think it was just only kind of starting to like be you were beginning it was at the beginning yes. of it yeah. it was at the beginning of it and now to see like so many of the young people like i recently did a twitter like ask of like post like um please lgbtqia plus latina latino uh, x and black indigenous like artists mm -hmm. like I want to see your work and it's just like how many are out there and just like all of the ways that they're like I'm this I'm that I'm this I'm that and I'm just like yes yeah. is so beautiful this fandom is incredible yeah. yes. incredible you yes. asked me about Cami Con earlier and like oh, how yeah. it was and I wanted to say this as a nerd of color it was so dope seeing other nerds and so many nerds of color at Camicon. Like, so, so tell us about that. Yeah. Where, yeah. where was that? When was I that? went out to Birmingham, Alabama, Ooh. and everyone was so nice. Good. And I had some great food um, for a con, uh, just an anime con, and it was very fun. But yeah, I just, I, I could never have imagined that when I was Lucy's age. Yeah. Never. It was always just me and, like, all my family and friends making fun of me. Like, yeah. it was always... It's just very clear it was just me and to see that and I was like yes we can all be so many things we are an infinite you know it's just like everyone who came up I didn't want to be like thank you for being a nerd uh, thank you for liking cartoons uh, thank you for doing cosplay uh, you're my dream person <laughs> like, the nerd in me right yes the nerd in, the nerd in you I see you um, it was truly like yeah the, the yeah. representation you guys are mm. I don't know it's it's reciprocally inspiring yeah. yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm older than all of you. Um, 
But when I grew up, girls were princesses, and that was it. And like, I never, I never was. Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to be the tomboy. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. I wanted and to yeah, like, yeah, what both of you yes, said. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I don't, I don't dress as I'm not. So, oh, I did want my press on nails. <gasps> <laughs> press on nails and a sword. I had, <laughs> I had giant hair and like freckles and a perma Kool Aid mustache. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to see these oh, photos. I, mean, <laughs> I have the receipts. Next time. Um, <laughs> Next time. <laughs> but I like seeing people grow up in a world today where it's not the binary of the princess or the knight, right? There's so many options and. Man, it's so cool. I'm so yeah. jealous of people that are growing up today. No. <laughs> like, yeah. What choices would I have done differently? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But it is really cool. It is really cool. You're sending me in a brain spiral. <laughs> Not a brain spiral. Consulting my notes. <laughs> Con- right. Consult the notes. Hello. We're looking at the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the agenda? Uh, hello? <laughs> Um, so next week is uh, elsewhere and else when. Yes, it's the it's the the, the actual return of Lilith. Ooh. I'm so excited! I'm excited! <laughs> I know. Like That's we like, got to oh. see her for a blip in this week's <laughs> episode, yes. which Love was it. which was neat. But it was a tantalizing. I didn't get paid for it, but it's. Fine. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this next week is going to be really cool. Ooh. There's some good stuff coming. And that is all I'm going to say. Wait, and wait. I have to just oh. shout out. I, we talked about it earlier, but uh, Willow's a- athletic arc so far. <laughs> I don't know why we got, got her mid workout, but I was so happy to see it. Yes. Um, yes. And her and Amity, like friends of the they're pretty. They're trying. They're trying, right? You got to start somewhere. So cute. It was very cute. So cute. And um, I think you had some questions for us, right? It's just I do have some fun trivia from Dana. Uh, trivia. 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 Did you hear that? All right. So, do you need like a theme song for out. trivia though? Yeah. Like, do, 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 do. Now trivia. we do. Tell you what. Now we do. Now, now we do. 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 Now it ends so uncomfortably with this episode with Bello showing his face. Oh. So, interesting. That also just shows you like how long animation takes for that episode to be written during the 2020 election and then it's only airing yeah. now. <laughs> this <week>. um, <laughs> wow. uh, Kofi Fiagole, who is our uh, animation supervisor on season two, animated the Loose and Amity fight plus the skateboard bit. Uh, and when it was pitched by staff writer Zach Marcus, Dana laughed so hard that they ended up keeping it in. Uh, so that's why that's in there. <laughs> it's not the fastest vehicle, so I am glad to hear that explain. I was like, oh! I just think it's so funny that Abby's like in like these like heeled boots, and she's like, yes, yeah, skateboard. And then, they, and then, but then it just, they're both like, bang. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that explain. Uh, and then Buddy Bellows is based off of Buddy Jesus from Dogma. <laughs> oh my god! Incredible. Wait, that's what the like the Bible and the. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about how the Bellows is the the like the, the finger guns? <laughs> and that's the signs. <laughs> Wait, or what did what did Hootie scream as he was as he was chasing? I'm your him? god now. Yeah, I'm not just legal. legal. <laughs> I'm your god. Yeah, I am your god. Uh, I love that yeah. was. Probably my favorite. Like hats off to Alex Hirsch. I love oh, yeah. like I love that Hootie, 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 Hootie. can have conversations. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's, dude. that's why he, he's right yeah. here. It's like so yeah. anybody, like Lisi Lou design yes. on Insta is making these babies. Um, yeah. They are three feet long, wow. and they are there are minis great. if you don't have uh, the space. Okay. Can they, she also does them in um, all the colors of the pride rainbows. That's so yes. cool. Yes. I also wanted to shout out oh. uh, Vanna White is yes. going to debut. Uh, to this is from uh, Leggy Deco. You can <laughs> you flip it around. There's another loose lubity Ooh. little ensemble. I just got these from Cami Con. I oh, met them. They're amazing. So cute. Uh, there's also these just oh, yeah, yeah. Show selectable the, show the pins. Show little the pins. Grom, oh, Grom lapel pins if you're hip O-M-D. and you're a, a Lumity stan. Who, who makes then, these? Yeah. Who makes these? Leggy Deco. Leggy Deco. Is that D E C O? Yes. Okay. okay. You can't read it, but it's the note. Um, will you go to Grom with me, Amity? And then it's the little loose, like, tear off I still have them thingy. wrapped out because I am cherishing them. Um, <laughs> then we have, you know, in case loose isn't your favorite character, uh, we <laughs> have some King <laughs> swag, which I also bought. 
So get, get get yourself over there if you're looking for some quality. Yes. Quality. Uh, yes. You gotta put the link. You gotta put the link. I know how to do that, and I will do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. And also, uh, I want to thank Gemma um, Gemma on Twitter for sending Hexide yes. hats, yes. and the Mystery Shack for mm -hmm. all of their good, good, good. Good, good swag. Absolutely. You gave me so. one of those. Yeah, yeah, I love it. She sent a giant box for right. everybody. And at some so point, cool. we will figure out how to do giveaways here, but it is not yeah. that day. We <laughs> might have to do like a number system, like where you, I don't know. I, I don't know how. We don't know how to do it. If anybody has ideas, how to do it. Let us know. Yeah. Hi. If you can figure this out, let us know. <laughs> Any final closing thoughts on Follies of Coven Day Parade? I mean, it's weird to think, though, like, just from the gap of the hiatus, yeah. that was, like, the first episode back from yes. Yes. yesterday's live. When was yesterday's live? That was, like, August. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It has been, been a yeah. long time. Y'all are patient. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> thank you from the you. bottom thank of my you. heart. And also, I see y'all on Twitter getting things trending, like, every yes. other day. Yes, 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 yes. We know Seriously. it. We see it. We love it. Yes. We love you. Oh, that's what I wanted to ask you about was the New Deal for Animation Rally. Oh, yes. We so have to tell us a little bit about what it was, why it came about, and, and what, all the what's stuff. been happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys are on Twitter at all and you know following anybody in the industry, I'm sure you guys have been seeing the hashtag New Deal for Animation. Um, so the Animation Guild is trying to work out uh, you know, in no get, uh, negotiations to give uh, animators and people involved in that industry a fair pay. Um, it's, it's pretty bad yeah, right now. Especially it's bad. with the pandemic, like animation was kind of like the only industry in you know the entertainment industry that was able to keep going and keep working and keeping it afloat during that time. Um, so there was a rally uh, this past weekend where a bunch of people in the industry came, um, which was really really awesome. Uh, it was like the first one in like decades or something like that, which is really insane. You know, hopefully we'll be able to do more events like that again. But like. That was, like, for anybody. You didn't even have to be in, a, you know, a part of the animation field or anything like that. If you're just a supporter of animation, you're able to, you know, show up. Um, it's really awesome. You guys can, you know, say hi to people that you know, you know, your inspirations and stuff like that who are there who just... Networking. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Uh, um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. No. Please show up there for Not the event. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> don't bother me. It was really, really cool. Um, but you got yeah. to go. Yeah, but I got to go. So it was a lot of fun. Um... So yeah, so you know, if you ever see like those trends going on where it's like, you know, a retweet with a gif from one of your favorite animated shows, like do that because you know, we're just, you know, we're trying to give everyone fair pay. Yeah, yeah. I will say, like, I just deserve rest. Yeah, they don't I don't sleep, know. They don't yeah, eat. I'm yeah. not Production's joking. rough. I don't know the specifics rough. of like the actual numbers, but I will tell you the on camera versus the animation pay is yeah. astounding. It's insane. Like, it's, like, it's insulting. Yeah. Truly. Yeah, okay. and it, it, trust me, like, I know the cartoons are fun, but mm -hmm. they're, like we oh, said wow. earlier, there are years and, and mm -hmm. dozens of people's heart and soul yep. for a long time and like, truly yeah. no sleep, which any animator can attest to. So yeah. they deserve yeah. better. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a reason Dana's on a Twitter hiatus for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she put up that picture rough. of her just like, oh, <laughs> man, like, poor thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. so. any, any closing thoughts? Anything? Do you have any theme songs you wanted to share with us? Yeah, any, any, <laughs> <laughs> any, any other jingles to workshop? Let's just hope Rain remembers. Right? <laughs> Hashtag, Hashtag Rain remembers. Rain remembers. Hashtag. Hashtag Rain remembers. <laughs> oh, 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 here's a question for you. Oh, what? If Rain, well, I guess Rain does play an instrument. Oh. <laughs> I we were not really. Were really? Uh, really? That's did hysterical. Did you see in the little book, like, though, ooh. that when uh, Ida goes to the, uh, the inspectigator, I think is what it was called? That rain plays the uh, the geese scar and the organ is what it said in the little. Uh, well, 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 the more you know. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't feel as stupid. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, no. there, there's multiple <laughs> instruments on the board. Yeah, I was because uh, I was like I was like oh wait. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, thank you everybody. Yeah. Thank, thank you so thank much. You too. Thank you for having us. Hopefully, we can do this again. Have more fun. Um, next week, I think. Booty, get out of here. We're <laughs> hoping for a Friday. Uh, yeah. I'm going on vacation nice. for the first time in like 13 years. You deserve it. Um, yeah. So, uh, Friday, we'll figure it out. It might be Saturday that we do oh, a recap of the previous okay, week. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, we'll let you out. We'll, let you we'll post the on my stuff and Sissy stuff and everyone's stuff. So we'll There will be stuff. 
<laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. bye. Oh yeah, do the bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>